everybody. Welcome. We're about to get started. Um, Tristy's going to introduce the event in just a minute, but I just want to do some um, quick logistical information for you. Um, thank you for coming to the foundation and being here. Um, it seems like many of you have already figured out that there's pizza and beer in the back. There's a little fridge in the back with soda as well, and we have water in the kitchen if anybody's thirsty. Um, and then we have a bathroom just right around the corner. Uh, anybody who's working on the event is wearing um, a name tag that has blue on it. So if you need anything from us, please feel free just to come and um, talk to one of us and we can help you out. Uh, you should have all of the Wi-Fi password, the Wi-Fi password in front of you. Um, and then we're also going to be recording this event for later. The camera will be on the front, so um, it won't capture any of you, and we won't be recording the group um, part. But just so you know, if you don't want to be on camera, um, then you don't. Ha then just don't come up front. And then um, Trishti will al also be taking photos of the room. So if you're uncomfortable and you don't want any photos, just please let her know so that we can take you out of those later on. Um, and then I think. The last thing is, is that we're ending it. We have a hard deadline of 9 p.m. Um, so we'll be um, having everybody leave at, by 9 p.m. So other than that, can you think of anything else? You good? All right. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this meetup. I'm Srishti. I work at the Wikimedia Foundation as well. I'm going to quickly give you an overview of our agenda today. Uh, we'll first have Juan Lara, who is our volunteer contributor and contributes to MediaWiki documentation a lot. He's going to share his experience of contributing uh, as a technical writer to the software. And then uh, I'm going to point out uh, at a few people present in this room, Moriel, Walker, um, Rowan, and Ryan, who are going to share a little bit about their projects and what opportunities we have um, in terms of documentation. And then after these presentations, we will uh, break into small groups and then work on small tasks, or at least take a look at uh, the kind of uh, you know, opportunities we have um, with, our, with some of our projects. And um, after that group activity, I'll quickly do some announcement. Uh, we have a few uh, documentation events and opportunities coming up very soon, so we will tell you uh, more about that. I hope you will enjoy this meetup, and over to Juan. Thank you. OK, uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, so are there any first-time visitors today? Excellent. Um, I hope you find the meetup as useful and as welcoming as I have. So my name is Juan. Uh, I'm one of the organizers of Write the Docs San Francisco. The or other organizer here today for Write the Docs San Francisco, if you see her around, is uh, Nico. And um, Nico made this awesome shirt that you can order um, through our website. So today we're talking about contributing to open source as a tech writer. And a little background on me, I'm a tech writer at a software company in Daly City called Genesis. And at Genesis, we do telecommunication software. So um, email, chat, and voice going through call centers. And at Genesis, we use MediaWiki as our documentation platform. So that's how I got introduced to uh, MediaWiki. And after using it for a while and helping support the platform and doing a few extensions to it, I thought, hey, you know, we use this platform. It's an open source platform. I should start to give back to this thing that's been so helpful. So I mentioned uh, MediaWiki. And the first thing I want to clarify is the difference between uh, these three terms, uh, MediaWiki, the Wikimedia Foundation, and Wikipedia. 
So the Wikimedia Foundation is the nonprofit organization behind uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the free online encyclopedia we all know and love. And MediaWiki is the software that Wikipedia runs on. And MediaWiki is a free open source software. And what that means is that you can download MediaWiki and look at all the source code. And you can take that source code, you can edit it how you want and make it useful to, to yourself. And what that also means is that you can contribute to the project. So if you find something that doesn't work quite right with uh, MediaWiki or Wikipedia, you can go ahead and fix it and ask that that code is merged back into the, the main branch, the documentation source. So why you should contribute to open source? Or put another way, why you should work for free? The first thing I want to get across is that this is not quite the right way to uh, think about it. Because like many other volunteer experiences, what you get out of the, your volunteer experiences is much more than what you put in. And the other thing that I've kind of noticed recently, or noticed as I've volunteered with, uh, Wiki, with, with MediaWiki, is that the maintainers, the people that you work with that are part of the project, put a lot of their own time in helping volunteers and getting, getting new contributors up and running. So the maintainer gives a lot of their time in answering questions and making sure you understand the, the task and also teaching you about the, the project you're working on. And what they're hoping they get out of the time they invest is a great documentation that'll help them onboard for more contributors. And they're also hoping that you have a great a volunteering experience and that you'll come back and keep working and keep, keep enjoying the experience enough that you'll come back. And so as a contributor, as a volunteer, you give your time, but you also get a lot out of it. You get new knowledge, you get new skills, you get to ask um, a maintainer of you know, one of the biggest websites in the world questions. And as you create documentation, you also develop portfolio pieces that you can then use to, to apply to jobs and to further your career. So that's the first reason you might want to contribute to open source, is uh, to get noticed. So as you contribute to open source and you create documentation, you can use these as portfolio samples. And when you're a new tech writer, when you're trying to break into the field, or when you're trying to maybe move from one type of documentation to another type, to say a developer documentation, one thing people often tell you is, uh, well, one thing you can do is take an existing piece of documentation and rewrite it. But I think through open source, you can take that even further and um, you can rewrite it and you can contribute it back to the project. And if it's an open source, they will really appreciate that. And also, as instead of just rewriting it and using it on your own blog or website, if you work with the project and contribute back to the project, you also demonstrate the full range of uh, the tech technical writing skill set, which is um, learning a new project, researching a project, and also interacting with developers and showing that, that you can collaborate with developers and ask them good questions and collaborate with them to create a great piece of documentation. The other great reason you should contribute to open source, or you might consider, is that it's, it's great for learning a new technology or a new skill. 
And the way I like to think of, I like to、um, use open source projects is a, a capstone for something I'm trying to learn. So, for example,、uh, at our last meetup, there was a presentation on Python and how, as a tech technical writer, you can really set yourself apart by learning Python. And so that that it was a very motivating presentation. It motivated me to start to learn more Python. So I've started to look into Python and learn how to use it. And I saw that MediaWiki has a Python project. They have a project called PyWikiBot, which is a, a Python-based framework that lets you automate edits to Wikipedia and MediaWiki. So as I'm learning Python, I'm using this、um, open-source documentation project as a capstone to my learning. So I can say, yes, I've learned Python, and I here's an example of documentation I've done with Python. And not only that, as you work with them, you get to ask the maintainers, who again、um, write the code for this project, questions about what you're interested in learning about. And so this is an example of a few of the other、uh, technologies I've been able to practice as I. Hello. Okay. Sorry, I turned it off.、Um, <laughs> so here are the, a few of the other technologies that I've gotten to practice with directly as I contributed to the MediaWiki documentation.、Uh, PHP, the MediaWiki source code, the core source code is written in PHP. They also have a lot of、uh, JavaScript projects.、Uh, Git, Git、uh, the MediaWiki uses、uh, Git for source control. A、uh, vagrant and virtual box is a, a really fun one. That lets you set up a development environment on your own computer. So you can, in a day, download the source code and set up your own your own server that runs MediaWiki. You can play around with the source code. You can make changes, and you can learn PHP that way. And I already mentioned、uh, Python is the one I'm working on now through PyWikiBot. And、um, my third reason that I have here for contributing to open source is that you can、uh, tech write for good. <laughs> so this is the the mission statement of the Wikimedia Foundation, and they believe in open and free knowledge for everyone. And my experience has been that you can really see that the the people who work at the Wikimedia Foundation and the people that volunteer at Wikipedia and the in MediaWiki、uh, really believe in that. And every time I ask a question, you know, someone answers it. So they are very、uh, patient, knowledgeable, and they they share that knowledge with you. And as you you contribute to to MediaWiki or another open source project, you know that you're contributing to to a good project.、Um, again, MediaWiki and the Wikimedia Foundation has its mission statement, and they're a nonprofit. And so this your contributions carry forward to that project. So. With it being a wiki,、uh, it's very easy to get started as a contributor to MediaWiki documentation. You simply just need to create a MediaWiki.org account and find an interesting project, and you can start editing documentation right away. And so, I wanted to just quickly introduce some of the tools that MediaWiki uses. To、um, to manage their projects. So if you when you contribute to MediaWiki, these are the tools you'll be using and the tools you'll be learning.、Uh, MediaWiki.org is the documentation wiki. So that's where you'll find almost all of the documentation.、Uh, Fabricator is their bug tracking system. So it's、uh, you know kind of like a, like a, like a Jira when there's an issue or an improvement. 
they create a, a bug a bug um, there. Sorry, they don't create a bug. They uh, thank you. They create a task there, and they fill out the information. And then you can come and say, "Hey, I I want to work on this," and they'll tell you they'll ex help, they'll help you understand what's needed. Um, help you understand what's already there that you can use as a resource and uh, work with you to write the documentation. Wikimedia Foundation loves IRC. And the uh, IRC is Internet Relay Chat. And uh, it's a chat room where you can ask questions in real time. So you can um, log on to one of the IRC chat rooms just ask a question, and usually within a day, uh, someone will answer your question. And they have uh, different chat rooms for different projects. And the, the last, the other tool you'll see a lot of is uh, Garrett and Git. So Garrett is a code review system that's, that runs on top of Git. And um, one of our popular meetups recently was a, a workshop on Git. So this is another good opportunity to practice Git and show that, demonstrate that you know Git and that you can use it in a real project. So this is uh, MediaWiki.org. So almost on any page, you can after you create your account, you can just hit Edit and make changes to the documentation. Uh, Wikitext is uh, pretty easy to learn. You can start to learn it and learn most of it within a day. And if you find um, any kind of error, you can go on and fix it right away. So if you find a typo, you can fix it. If you see a sentence that you feel can be um, clarified, you can go ahead and do it. And many times people will, will um, thank you for your edits. Uh, MediaWiki.org has this uh, feature where if you see someone makes an edit you like, you can press a button that says um, thank you, and they'll get a no notification that says, hey, um, so-and-so, thank you for your edit. Uh, as I mentioned, Fabricator is a bug tracking system. So there you can see all the projects and all the different kind of work that Media, the Wikimedia Foundation is working on. In fact, this uh, meetup itself was a fabricator task. And you can search there for tasks related to project. Uh, many times those tasks will be late. They'll have a uh, documentation related tasks that you can work on. And you'll <laughs> and uh, after you browse a uh, fabricator for a while, you'll notice that this gets um, reference and link to different issues a lot. So this is kind of part of the, the culture of uh, the Wikimedia Foundation is there's this bug T2001 that will probably never be closed. Oh, it used to be bug number one. So it, it just shows that um, the Wikimedia Foundation you know, understands the importance of documentation. And so, yeah, it's kind of become a, a running joke, I think. If people find a project that maybe has documentation that can be improved, they'll link this bug to the project. <laughs> and um, here's a IRC, again, as explained earlier, it's a chat room where you can ask questions in real time. And this is a Garrett and a Git. So Garrett is used for a code review. So you can log on, after you make a Garrett account, you can log on and you can see people making code, doc, code contributions. You can see how people review contributions. And if you, you can go through this process yourself if you find a project that you want to contribute code to. Um, that's not something I've got into done, but it is one of my goals to to get to the point where I can make a contribution to the source code itself. And lastly, I wanted to, 
to highlight something that I I came across as I was uh, beginning to contribute to the MediaWiki documentation is that I found this in the editing pages help, and this is kind of the one of the the, the rules of wiki editing is uh, to be bold. You know, um, when I started, I was uh, kind of a little bit nervous to to publish something on MediaWiki.org because it would be incorrect or there'd be some kind of typo and it would be embarrassing, someone would see that. But uh, then I, I saw this and this was very motivating. You know, the number one rule of wiki editing is to be bold. And so when you find something and you believe you can improve it, go ahead and do so. And of course, I made my first contribution and within a few minutes, someone find, found a typo and they fixed it and I thank them for it. And so tonight, we, we uh, Shristi, gathered a um, few documentation tasks that we could work on. And I hope you have a lot of fun documenting. And I encourage you to be bold and to learn and ask a lot of questions. Thank you, Juan, for such an amazing presentation. Next up, um, we'll have Moriel and Rowan. Hello. Hi. So I'm Moriel, and this is Rowan. You, want the, you didn't bring your the another okay i'll speak then oh there's another microphone um so we're both on the collaboration team and we do things like notifications uh so when juan says that you can uh, thank someone and then that someone gets a notification that you thank them uh we worked on that among other things and today we'd like to introduce that uh, as maybe a potential please help us uh documentation task so um, we can introduce a little bit of notification. The, the documentation itself that we would love to have help with is to help other developers that are developing other extensions, uh, to help them understand how they can, within their extension, add a notification to. So connect to the core notifications that MediaWiki supplies and create their own notification, whatever it is. So we already have um, a documentation, but we could use some help on it. Let's put it this way. Um, so let's start, I think, introducing what how notifications work. Uh, yeah, how deep do you want to go with this? Probably not too deep. OK. Um, just an overview. You want to start? Sure, OK. Um, so I don't know how much is worth saying. But um, uh, so the basic thing that we're trying to document is um, how to create a new notification type. Um, so, for example, a thing that says you got thanked is a notification type. And it might say, you know, it might tell you who thanked you and what edit it thanked for. And something like this person mentioning your name might be a different type. Um, so, we're, we have some documentation on how you create new types of notifications. It's uh, not great. And we would like to see it improved. But I don't think that we should explain this in detail to the whole group unless someone actually thinks to work. How, do you, how much do you want to? Yeah, so uh, anyways, I think we were going to split into groups after the short introduction. So at that point, if you'll have any questions, we'll be uh, happy to uh, to answer. But um, I think what's important for this meetup is that we do have um, two pages um, that are explaining how to do it. One of them is a little bit older, but contains more information. And one of them is a little bit newer um, and more relevant, but has missing information from the other one. So we need help kind of like combining those two and writing them uh, better. And the new one um, is a little bit more tutorial-like, like a little bit more step-by-step um, uh, -step with code examples and stuff, but it's not very good. And I can say that because I wrote it. So please help us. I didn't want to say it. <laughs> and I think Volker. Apologies for the disorganization here. I knew I was going to be up here like two hours ago, I think. 
I knew before, I just wrangled you to come with me. Poker. Hello, hello. Uh, my name is Volker. I'm on the editing design team. And uh, I care a lot about user interface standardization. And um, first of all, I'm very happy to see all those faces here. Um, very happy that you came today and to organize that. Um, we are, um, I'm, I'm out here because um, I'm working on our standard user interface library, OJS UI. And uh, that user interface library is um, used in places like Visual Editor, in core pages, in MediaWiki, and um, has a lot of um, a lot of users and a lot of volunteer developers, and it has a lot of documentation depth. And um, the task that I've identified um, to work with you, if you're interested in, is a pretty simple one, and I would be happy um, if you come and talk to me. Um, it's about uh, our user interface side of it. Um, uh, we have um, the um, we have screenshots provided. We had a technical writer um, about two years ago on that library, and we have screenshots provided. And since then, our uh, default um, interface uh, theme uh, has been overhauled and changed. Um, and it is still in the documentation are still the old um, screenshots. Um, and that uh, seems to me a very um, easy and simple way of getting started uh, in MediaWiki, in using MediaWiki, um, getting started with uh, get, getting to know the environment. And uh, as a longer term um, idea, we would like to um, have um, people interested in helping us identify problems with the documentation. There has been, it has been featured as one, so this year, I have to, to stop here for a second. This year, um, we um, have been asking developers um, for their biggest needs and um, uh, increasing, um, reducing the debt and um, improving the documentation on OHS UI has been uh, mentioned as one of the top uh, developer uh, wishes uh, on the so-called developer wish list. Uh, so that's a, that's a um, pretty strongly re um, requested uh, momentum that we have. And it would be amazing to find people among you um, who want to, um, who, who are open to help us um, identifying, improving, and uh, getting the thing out to raise um, happiness among our contributors. Um, I'm going to show for a moment. Um, yep. So this is the this is the current um, documentation website. Um, it has been, as I said, it has been um, put on by a professional technical writer, um, and we're gonna just to give you an an insight. We're going to provide here um, screenshots of the elements, um, but those are outdated. So this is like the very simple, the very simple request uh, that I have um, that we could um, look into together. But again, there's also uh, a much bigger, more interesting, more compelling challenge um, to um, people like you uh, helping us to identify uh, the shortcomings and improve um, that part. That's it from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you, Moriel, Rohan, and Volker. Um, so next up, we have this small group working session. And uh, we have put together a list of tasks. Actually, only a few of them are very small. Uh, but the rest, of, uh, the rest of the tasks that you see on this link are very big. Um, but we just wanted to give you a sense of um, documentation-related opportunities we have and, and the related tasks. So um, before we 
uh, split in two groups. Could we get a show of hands for people who are already familiar with MediaWiki here? OK. So uh, there are very few people, it seems like. So maybe what we can do is um, like one, uh, like we can uh, form group of two to three people, and then each group can have uh, someone who already uh, is familiar with MediaWiki, and then we can maybe get into setting up account and um, take a look at some of the articles. Um, we can maybe like you know uh, people who are already fam familiar. We can point you to some articles, and then you can take a look at them. Uh, maybe f like uh, help fix some small spelling mistakes or do a little bit of rewriting. I think that would be great. Um, and before we uh, split into groups, I would like to invite Ryan, who will share with us uh, information about another documentation meetup, uh, which is happening uh, next week. And then I'll share about another uh, more opportunity. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Kaldari. Uh, I'm an engineering manager at the foundation. Um, and I was just going to tell you guys about an event that's happening next week, uh, next Friday, called MediaWiki Documentation Day. Um, so this is just a day when all the developers at the Wikimedia Foundation and volunteer developers and users and whoever wants to uh, is going to put aside doing their regular development work and just concentrate on doing documentation. Um, so we've we've done. Uh, some similar events in the past that were around, like you know, cleaning out our uh, like code review backlog and things like that, where we would just dedicate one day to like doing one thing as a focused group. Um, and those those events have usually been really effective and awesome and uh, accomplished a lot. So we decided we were going to try doing it with documentation, which we'd never done before. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try that this coming for, uh, next Friday. Uh, so if you guys are interested uh, and want to find out more about it or participate, uh, just go to the web page about the event, which is on mediawiki.org. Just search for MediaWiki Documentation Day 2017, um, and this has uh, there's not a whole lot of information here, but uh, basically just like tells you what it's about, how it works, how to write good documentation for MediaWiki, um, and then there's also a section for requests. So if there are any parts of MediaWiki or anything related to MediaWiki that doesn't make sense to you, you can request better documentation for it. Um, and then people can volunteer to write that documentation. Or if you're somebody who's already familiar with a particular library or an extension for MediaWiki, um, and you see that somebody wants better documentation for it, you can fulfill one of these requests. Um, so I guess that's it. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Um, I also want to make an announcement about another meetup. Uh, how many of you, by any chance, are planning to attend Write the Docs event in Portland two weeks later? Three, four people. OK, so we are also um, be participating in the writing day of that conference. And some of the big tasks that I have put together for this event, uh, we are going to be you know, uh, working on uh, that during uh, the Portland conference. So you're welcome to join us. There will be other people from foundation as well participating. Uh, so you're welcome to hang out with us and uh, get some work done. Um, and then a last thing that I wanted to say before we split into groups is that uh, while you are working uh, in small groups, I will come um, to your group and then encourage you to fill a short spreadsheet um, in that, I have listed two questions. So if you are interested in opting uh, to know more about our future events um, and also uh, interested in continuing some of the conversations from this meetup, um, we will add you to our communication channel. Thanks. Thank you.